Welcome once again to my YouTube channel. Our today's lesson is about sharing using ratio. When it comes to sharing ratios, what we do, we are just dividing. For example, given that a teacher had 50 mangoes to share between two students. That is, the name of the students is John and David. She shared in the ratio that John gets two and David gets three. How many mangoes did each of them get? Now remember, we are saying sharing is just basically division. These two people, John and David, Remember we have said that when you're sharing using ratios, we share equally. Therefore, what we need to know is that John gets two parts. That is one, two. David gets three. Therefore, for every two mangoes, David receives three. Now, let's get in total how many parts are there. There are one, two, three, four, five. So there are five parts. Therefore, these mangoes now, we divide with five. So 50 divided by five, by five is one, by five is one, and then you have a zero there, it's 10. Therefore, each part is 10. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Now, John had like two baskets. David had three. So, in the first basket, there are ten. The second one are ten. So, in total, there are twenty in these two baskets. David had three baskets. And in each basket, there are ten mangoes. Therefore, when we add, we get thirty mangoes. And now, we have... The number of mangoes each person got. John got 20, David got 30. And by that, we have shared the ratio. In our second example, we are told to share 460 kilograms in the ratio 1 is to 3. Therefore, there are how many parts? The first part is 1. The other part, there are 3 parts. So in total, how many parts are there? One, two, three, four. So that four now is like our total ratio. So our total ratio is one, two, three, four. Therefore, remember we have said sharing using ratio is just basically division. So we are dividing 460 kilogram divided by four. By two, it's two. By two, it's two. 3, 0. By 2, 1. By 2, 1. 1 and 5. Therefore, each portion is 115. Now, according to the ratio, this part is 115. The other one received 115 in three portions. So we add these parts. That is 115. We can either add or multiply by three. So which is 15, 4, 3. Therefore, when we share this 460 kilogram, the first part gets 115 kilogram. The other part gets 345 kilograms. And when we add this, we shall get back to 460. Therefore, when we put together, we go back again to we go back again to 460 kilograms. Therefore, the first part got 115 kilograms, the other one got 345 kilograms. In this question, we are told that two sisters 
shared Kenya shillings 7,200 in the ratio 3 is to 5. How much did each get? This one has three portions, while this one has five parts. One, two, three, four, five. As you can see, this one has five, this one has three. And when we are sharing now, we are supposed to get total number of parts. So how many parts are there all together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All these parts are introducing us to our to a concept called total ratio. And how do we get total ratio? We normally get total ratio by adding this part with this part. So there we have just counted these parts. Three plus five and we got eight. So in, instead of you writing all this, you can just add the ratio straight away. So three plus five is eight as our total ratio. Therefore, after getting our total ratio as eight, we divide this by this so 7200 divided by 8 by 8 is 1 by 8 is 9 remember our zeros there to become 900 therefore each part is 900 <laughs> So 900 times 3, you get 27, which is 2,700. 900 here are 5. When you multiply 900 times 5, you get 4,500. Therefore, the first sister here got 2,700. The other one got 4,500. Also, you can as well use fractions. <laughs> You express each ratio as a fraction of the total. When you express 3 as a fraction of the total shall be 3 out of 8. When you express 5 as a fraction of the total shall be 5 over 8. Now, after we get this, we multiply with the quantity that they are sharing, which is 7,200. So, by 8 is 1, by 8 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27, plus these two zeros, you get 2,700. Also, this one, we multiply with the amount that they are sharing. By 8, 1, by 8 is 9. 5 times 9 is 45, and remember our two zeros there, we get 4,500. So, instead of using this formula, you can as well use fraction, that is, you express each ratio as a fraction of the total. Let's do our next example. In this question, we are told that the ratio of boys to girls in a school is 7 is to 8, if there are 168 boys, how many pupils are there? Remember, the ratio here is 7 is to 8, that is boys to girls. So, boys to girls, 7 is to 8. Therefore, this 7 is the one that belongs to boys. So, here we are being asked how many pupils are there. Remember pupils? It includes boys and girls. So in other words, we are looking for the total number of pupils. Now here, we are going to be guided by the idea of getting total ratio. Our total ratio, 7 plus 8 is 15. Therefore, we are looking for all the pupils. And all the pupils in terms of ratio were 15 in Total. If 7 is equal to 168, what about 15 is equal to what? So whatever we don't know is x, and now we cross multiply. 7x is equal to 168 times 15. We want x, we divide both sides by 7. So x is equal to, by 7, 1, 
by 7, 2 because of 14, 6 minus 4 is 2, 28 divided by 7 is 4. Therefore, 24 multiplied by 15 is 20, 4 times 5 is 20, carry 2, 4 times 2 is 10 plus 2, it's 12, 1 times 4 is 4, and 1 times 2 is 2, 0, 6, 3. Therefore, our x is 360. 360. So all the pupils in that school were 360 pupils. Let's proceed to our next example. In this question, we have been told that two businessmen, that is Peter and James, share profit, Kenyan shillings, 750, in the ratio 7 is to 8. If Peter got 350, how much did James get? So they are sharing the ratio 7 is to 8, and Peter gets 7, and James gets 8. Here we are going to use the idea of cross multiplication. That is, if 7 is equal to 350, what about 8 will be what? So we cross multiply. Whatever you don't know, we can give it a little like x. So it shall be 7x is equal to 350 times 8. We want x, so we divide both sides by 7. By 7, 1, by 7 is 5. 5 times 8 is 40, plus this 0 becomes 400. So as you can see, James got more. He got 400. Therefore, James got Kenyan shilling, Kenyan shilling, 400. I wish you the best and kindly remember to subscribe. Leave a comment and you can as well share with your friends. Also practice. Remember practice makes perfect. Thanks for watching.